On to the Sussexes. Apparently, Meghan is planning a comeback without the support of Harry. Now, that's a hefty claim, Russell. What's going on? Well, it is. I mean, listen, the Sussexes have come in for a bit of a bruising over the last few weeks, haven't they? They're, they're, the sort of uh, their Spotify deal has been uh, in all sorts of trouble. It has been panned. Would they be um, taken on again by Netflix? I mean, Netflix are apparently saying that they're happy with the deal, but an awful lot of money has passed through the Sussexes' accounts in recent years. And you know, what does it mean for them? Do they uh, still this being this tour de force that they try to create? Do they uh, think that they can still carry that on. I mean, we've had the, the Net Oprah Winfrey um, program, we've had the Netflix series, and then we had Harry's book. It's been pretty explosive over the last couple of years. But now Har uh, Harry and Meghan apparently going their own separate ways. Meghan signing to the talent agency WME. I mean, these are the powerhouses of Hollywood. Does she want to get back into sort of the influencer sphere? Will she be writing books, something about wellness? And will Harry go on his different direction to explore different opportunities, maybe documentaries, revisiting Africa, who knows? But I think something is for certain that, that what the Sussexes have done over the last couple of years has been pretty explosive. And maybe they just need to turn the dial down and we'll work out really what they want to do for their future, because it's, it's been a rough couple of years. Just on that, because I think that's a very good observation and this idea of them taking separate opportunities. Do you think that perhaps the Sussex brand, the couple as a whole, is a bit too damaged and that by them doing separate things, it might be a way of brand rehabilitation? Yeah, well, that's an interesting point. Certainly that Megan has apparently signed this deal with the talent agency on her own. I think when we were talking uh, about the Sussexes, it was very much about Bran, Harry and Megan, Megan and Harry. Everybody wanted a piece of them together. Again, you just talk about the Oprah program, the Netflix series, the Spotify deals that were being talked about for big, big money. And now that brand has sort of, you know, been watered down, hasn't it? Because there has been an awful lot of toxicity, uh, with their dealings between them and the royal family. You know, what does it mean for them moving forward? And I definitely think that they will want to try and take stock of the last couple of years, maybe take their foot off the gas and, uh, and work out what, they, what their brand means for, for longevity purposes. And maybe that means, you know, going in separate directions will be the best thing for them.